Slim Shady, please stand up. We're gonna have a problem here. Y'all act like you've never seen a white person before. Jaws all on the floor like pan like Tommy. Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create the vertigo or kind of dolly zoom in effect with Final Cut Pro 10. And it's actually probably the easiest thing you can do with the movement or camera techniques. And uh, it's very simple. Of course, you will need to film a video with at least a dolly or something that will zoom in almost kind of smooth like and uh, you also want the subject to be either moving forward or moving backwards and uh, this is what the vertigo slash dolly cam kind of effect is so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now so I'm gonna go ahead and push play so you guys can see it so it's just this really nice really cool effect that they use a lot in the movies nowadays and uh, by the way this video or this music video is um, I don't remember the name, but I will leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and watch it if you guys want. It's a really good music video. Uh, however, this is what I um, chose to use out of that. He's just walking through this little, uh, you know, aisle right here with all of the bunch of wines and everything. But I thought this was a really cool shot and uh, I wanted to show you guys how to do this really cool uh, scene right here. So this is very simple. I'm going to go ahead and undo this and show you guys how to do it from scratch. Let me go ahead and undo. So what I did is I, of course, the video or the music video had the letterbox effect. So I just went to the crop option. I went to trim and I moved the top and bottom little scale things here to only this area there. And then I clicked done now um, or I clicked on crop right here. You have to do the trim first and then crop and then click done and this will crop it to the selected area. So you have to do that first. And uh, of course, when it crops it, it will delete some part of your video. So make sure you get a nice wide angle or a long shot of your uh, subject. So if I push play, he's just moving forward like that. And the camera is moving backwards with him as well. So that's pretty cool. But we're going to do the opposite of that. So what we're going to do, first of all, it's really choppy, as you can see. You know how it's really choppy. Uh, we're going to fix that very simply. So to do that, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to slow down the footage. So when we slow the footage down, this will go ahead and, you know, make it so it's longer and so we have a more stable, smooth shot. So we're going to click this button here if you're on the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10, 10.3. But if you have an older version, it should be on the right side around here and uh, or somewhere on the right side. And then go on to slow. I'm just going to slow it down to 50%. The lower the number, the longer the clip will be. So I'm going to just do 50%. As you can see here, it's really, really slow, but it's still really choppy. So to fix that, go back to that option, go to video quality, and go to optical flow. What optical flow will do is it will just kind of analyze the video and make this nice and smooth just like that. So it, you know, it's really nice and smooth. Kind of gets rid of that choppiness. So if you want to go ahead and render this out, just click on modify and render all to render the whole entire thing. So when you play it back, it doesn't lag or it doesn't stop your video or anything like that. So that comes in really handy when you're trying to edit um, quickly. So if you push play, uh, you can see that's really nice and smooth. So that's what we want. However, we want to do the opposite of the camera, uh, the camera movement. So the camera of movement is moving away. So we want it to move forward. So to do that, it's very simple. We're going to go ahead and add a keyframe. But uh, we're going to go on to these settings here. I believe it's up here if you're on the latest version. If not, just click this the inspector window right here, the little button. Go to transform, and we're going to be changing the scale, and it should say all or something similar to it. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click this little button here, and this will add a keyframe. And it will add a keyframe to both the X and the Y axis. So that controls the whole entire video pretty much. What we're going to do is we're going to scale this up. We're going to go to the very end of the clip and we're going to move this up a little bit, just like that, as you can see here, and it kind of fades towards the end, but that's okay. So you can see um, if we push play, it's kind of zooming in. Now, if you zoom it in a little bit more, it will give you that really, um, the effect will be much, much stronger. So if I push play, you can see how it's kind of zooming in and that looks really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and change the quality of this to better quality so you guys can get a nice preview of this. And I'm also going to render this out. As you can see, I went in the beginning of the clip, okay, and uh, I added a keyframe. So you can see that kind of, you know, he's kind of staying in the middle in a way and the background is like moving. You can see here how it's just moving and it's not moving with the camera movement. 
And this is a really, really nice effect that you guys can do in your videos or movies or short films or anything like that. And this is an awesome thing that you guys can accomplish with Final Cut Pro 10. So, I mean, that's a pretty cool effect. If you guys found this tutorial in any way helpful, please leave a like. That would be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down your guys' ideas. And uh, I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.